storm show. Hey, it's a storm show. So the Real House Lies of Atlanta last night, it, it gave us some good stuff. But I think I'm personally going to call this episode Portia Learns What Everybody Else Already Knew. Because you know you know, Portia is always, you know, a thousand steps behind. A.K.A. Hooked on Phonics. A.K.A. Bambi. A.K.A. You know what Deering in the damn headlights. Because she learns that her man was cheating on her as if Candy didn't tell her. The world didn't tell her. Tasha didn't tell her. We didn't tell her. And as if, you know... Those thousand tattoos of Brandy, Larisha, uh, uh, Joanne, and Susan all over her man's body didn't tell her either that her damn man was a cheater. Hell, if, if none of else told you that nigga was a cheater, at least the boils on his booty should have damn told you that was God's way of letting you know that was a male whore. But anyway, the OLG scene, Candy is steady trying to tell us that, you know, she was surprised and she didn't know that it was going to be set up that way and that sincerely the liar aka sincerely the side chick was gonna go and pop up on her and i'm just here to say hey candy candy lanice burris tucker um you knew damn well that girl was in your restaurant and you knew that scene was gonna go down the way that reality shows work you can't walk onto a scene unless you were already mic'd and you didn't talk to a producers and they kind of give you coaching, not necessarily telling you what to say, but to let you know basically what is to be accomplished in the damn scene. Because here's the thing, people people are real and we live real lives. I don't give a damn how much money you got. Nobody's life is that exciting all of the time. So those producers are like, look, you're here to talk about this. Let's get to it. You're here to talk about that. Let's get to it. It is what it is. So do I believe that you didn't know Sincerely was there? No. You know who the hell's in your restaurant. But number two, do I think that you necessarily set it up and brought the girl there? Nah, I don't think that either. So you ain't guilty, you ain't innocent, but you right in the middle. And I forgot what that plea is called. When you don't plead guilty, you're innocent. Anyway, let me know down below. Portia was being coy about the whole thing and trying really not to show any emotion, but she's still really not herself. And let me say this. It's completely understandable to go through a breakup and not really be getting your hair done, not really doing your makeup, not really dressing right. Women would typically change their hair, like cut their hair when they go through a breakup. Men typically grow everything out. And I'm just going to say, you just got to give a person time. But hey, Portia, don't be leaving that job empty too long before they end up giving your damn spot to Eva or Storm. So, you know, carry your ass on back to work because, you know, you got one of the best jobs in the world to be able to sit down and talk about other celebrities do what you love and i understand you you hurt and your heart is hurt but get, get your ass out of bed single mother's been doing it for centuries you know talk to the single mother that got two kids trying to go to school and working at the damn waffle house tyrone might have hurt her damn feelings last night uh, uh, uh jay sean might have pulled up out the car by her wig last night but guess what guess what she's still at work 6 30 in the morning for the first shift at the waffle house to drop them damn waffles and hash browns scattered smothered the cover now Let's, uh, I want to bring up one more thing before I move on. When y'all break up with somebody, do you give the ring back? I, even though the engagement technically did not go through, and I know legally, you know, it could be given back. I just always felt like if you messed up, you know, as the man, you gave the ring, you messed up. You just kind of chalk that ring up to the game. Like there's no need to ask for it back in you or the cause of you guys not walking down the aisle. Now, if Portia had been caught with somebody else's sausage down her throat, then you can ask for the ring back. But in this case, I just don't see it. And you know, Portia, you better go 1998 on that ass and pawn that ring just to be petty. I ain't saying you need the money, but do it just to be petty. Next, Eva ain't uh ain't gotta explain. Okay, yeah, let's talk about Eva not bringing her child to the damn Kenya uh Kenya Moore birthday party because that birthday party damn sure won't about no damn Brooklyn because Brooklyn ain't gonna remember that shit, Kenya. Come on, I can't get everything you do is over the top. And your man is the one person that keep your ass grounded. Here's the thing. At the end of the day, Eva don't owe nobody. No explanation about Nan Baby that came out of her cooch and went and where she brings it. I would feel the same way. You're not going to tell me nothing about my child that I, oh, out of my loins. You're not going to tell me if I want to bring up my can and if I don't, I don't have to. There's not a conversation. And I just, I just really hope this ain't a damn storyline for the rest of the season because I'm going to sincerely have to <laughs> shout out to sincerely. I'm going to sincerely have to just skip that because that is not no damn storyline. That ain't a gag. That ain't a rose. That ain't a read. That ain't none of that. She didn't bring a kid. So what? There's plenty of other kids there. What about your own kid and your kid's father? Kenya? Shit. 
All right, uh, Eva, however, though, uh, you're going to have to explain at the reunion why you said nappy heads on uh, on national television. You know, bravo of all the things y'all, you know, black out or beep out. I would have thought y'all would have had enough sense to beep out Eva saying nappy heads, you know, especially since she's not a, a 4C girl, but, you know, she got a 4C daughter. You know, you Eva, you got to be more careful and cognizant of what you say. Now, I know in the role, stay nothing off limits, but just... Just know, looking the way you look, Eva, I don't really think you're going to be able to get away with saying that because you might just catch some backlash. Okay, let's go on to Kenya and Mark FaceTiming and Kenya trying to put her titties in the camera, trying to, you know, scooch that cookie in the camera frame, and Mark ain't paying attention to none of that. He's looking at his baby. And, uh, you know, Mark loves his baby. I... Mark loves his baby. That's really what I got from that scene. He loves that baby. Loves his daughter. Will be there for her. Kenya, I, I, your, your marriage is done, Kenya. Your marriage is done, Kenya. That man wasn't paying no attention to you. He wasn't excited to come back to Atlanta to make love to his wife after, you know, being gone in New York for so long. He was not excited about you at all. And he was halfway telling your ass to shut the hell up. <laughs> when you was trying to talk to him, he just wanted to talk to the baby. He did. You tried to say something. He had to swim and go. You know, that was just, we remember that stuff. We was coming up in our parents, you know, they had broke up and, you know, they was trying to figure out who was going to keep us for the weekend. And, you know, you had that one parent that was trying to keep the conversation going. And the other one was like, meet me at the 7-Eleven off North Hanley. Like, I'm not. I, I don't want to hear shit else you got to say. And that's he. Mm, nice try, Kenya. You just do not have luck when it comes to damn kids. Noel just uh, Noel came out on this episode. And, you know, y'all might be mad at me when I say this. But damn it, I'm going to say it because I'm going to keep it real with y'all. Is she gay gay or just college gay? Because there's definitely two different things. One thing about a lot of girls, most girls go off to college and, and, and lick snatch and get their snatch licked. This is what you go to college to do. I College is all about experimentation. So for her to say, I found, you know, I found some really, really dope girls. And, you know, she didn't say nothing about guys, but I found some really, really dope girls. And I'm just like, yeah, of course you did. It's college. The baddest ones are at college. You'd be like, damn. Wow, you'd be like, I, I ain't never even seen nothing like that before. So, you know, Noel then licked a few snatches, got her snatch lit. Congratulations. We'll see later on if you gay gay or if you was just college gay. And uh, I still think you was just college gay, though. It didn't really seem like gay gay for real. But either way, I'm glad Noel and Cynthia got a damn, like, uh, a close relationship to be able to discuss this. And Cynthia should definitely be able to relate because she want to suck Candy's cookie dry anyway. Moving right along, Marlo having her nephews, having custody of them now. This ain't funny. This is more sad. You know, shout out to Marlo. I may roast you all day long anytime you try to come for Eva. But at the end of the day, you know, I got a heart. This is a serious situation. And I'm glad that you stepped up to take your nephews and that you were there for them. And I just got to commend you because a lot of family, you know, I used to work at CPS. A lot of family members will be like, hell no, nah, I don't like my sister and I'm not taking them kids. And I'm glad that you're keeping them together and you're trying to be there for them. And you might not have all the answers, but parenthood is not about having the answers. It's about taking it one day at a time and giving it your best. Moving right along, Portia backslid, back, back, backslid and end up back with the, <laughs> with the boiled booty bandit. <laughs> boiled booty bandit is what we're going to call Dennis from now on. So... Is any of us surprised that she backslid and slept with, with the baby daddy? It's just like sleeping with your baby mama. Of course you did. Of course you did. The feelings are still there. You know, your stitches had just healed. And he tricked you with the whole Netflix and chill. And, oh, baby, let's watch this series. He had it planned the whole time. And he was hoping that y'all could have sex, squash everything, and get back together. But I'm glad that you have at least gained 5.5 IQ points. So you know that this is not enough. To, to, to save your relationship just because he cracked that back one good time. He been cracking your back. That's how the hell y'all made that child in the first place. Now, I still want to know how y'all do it. Because now that you done lost your belly, he still got his. So, I don't I don't know if you bit all the way over face down. Sub, you know, I don't know if y'all on y'all side, you know, getting it like that. I don't know. I just, you know, just just just, just drop a 30-second video. Because I'm just inter interested in knowing how poor booty 
mounts a damn Bambi, okay? Uh, let's move right along. Kenya, Kenya's issue with Eva. Kenya, you're just making up drama at this point. Eva does not have an issue with you, but you are going to create one with her, but you're trying to get that money up. So I am not going to give you any attention, just like your man, Mark. And lastly, Portia's and Dennis's therapy, where she learns what we all had told her. Portia. Tasha told you, I told you, the world told you, you know, you know, did a boy booty bandit's mama was so worried about you taking down the empire and the kingdom, but it was her son that was going to do it. He never fully intended to be committed to you because that's just not who he is. He has been a male whore for the greater part of his life, and he will continue to be that until the day he leaves this earth. You have been, you know, 1,000 feet behind, and, you know, we're still trying to catch you up to life. So that's just what it is. But Portia... You got to be honest, too. And let me tell you why. You moved that man in your house and you kept his stuff in the basement. You never even brought him upstairs. And I told you when I did your reviews, when you was pregnant on, you know, your three episode commercial. I told you, if you don't bring him upstairs, he's going to be out your door before you know it. And the doctor was right. So, you know, I ain't saying it's your fault, Portia, but I'm just saying, you know. You never even brought the man upstairs. What did you expect? And then I'm going to end the episode by saying Portia and her sister Lauren at one point said that uh, men ain't shit. And I'm just going to say no, ladies. No, 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 no. The men you pick ain't shit. The men you pick don't have their shit together. That's how that works. Not all men. Just the ones you pick. All right. Now, before I go, let me shout out my sponsors. Shout out to Blessed Fragrance. Blessed Fragrances will have you smelling like a million bucks without you having to spend a million bucks. Use my discount code STORM to get 15% off. That link is down below. And, of course, we got to talk about Lotus Radiance. Lotus Radiance makes bomb body butters, hair butters to keep your melanin popping and your curls popping, too. Use their discount link that's going to be down below because they got sales coming up. It's Christmas time, and you don't want to be ashy into Christmas now. And last but not least, we got to talk about Smile Love. Smile Love provides an alternative solution to traditional braces. Use my discount code STORM550 to get $550. Uh, not 550 I keep saying the old damn promo code. Use my discount code STORM, M. So my name and then the letter M, more money made. Okay, more money saved. And you would get $400 off your new set of aligners today. Like, comment, subscribe, and share if you care. For entertainment news, reviews, prescriptions, roasts, and the like, and I will catch you guys later. Uh, it's Storm Show. Hey, it's Storm Show.